Hi, and welcome to the final edition of Bauer Business Bites for 2020. My name is David Tai, and I'm the Managing Director of Bauer Media here in Northern Ireland. And right throughout this year, we've been talking to people in business right across Northern Ireland who are influencing and changing the way we operate. And on our final uh, episode for this year, I'm delighted to bring in Terry Robb, who's the Head of Personal Banking for Ulster Bank. Terry, welcome to Business Bites. Good morning, David. Thank you very much for inviting me. Delighted to be here. No, it's our pleasure. It's great to see you. And, um, you know, Terry, you're at Ulster Bank, you're head of personal banking. Um, it's great, great to have you along. And I suppose as we approach Christmas, it's a good opportunity to start thinking about others. And, um, you know, with that in mind, one of the interesting things about Ulster Bank is that you're a bank with a purpose. So just explain to us um, what that purpose is and how that came around. Yeah, certainly, David. So at the start of 2020, we appointed a new chief executive, Alison Rose, and Alison set out a strategy all around purpose and being more than just a bank. Um, so what was that purpose? Well, that purpose was to champion potential to help people, families, businesses and communities to thrive. So there was a broad strand to it. And then there was key elements that we really wanted to focus on. And those elements were regarding learning, enterprise, climate, and then communities. So what we really wanted to do, David, was be more than just a bank and become an influencer for change in some of those areas. And also to ensure that in the communities in which we serve, that we, um, I see it some skin in the game whenever it came to discussions on things like climate and the effects that that has on us all in now and in the future. Well, that's, that's great. And, um, you know, in this case, it's not just words, it's actual real actions. And um, I can witness that because I bumped into you, Terry, at the Mission Christmas Warehouse uh, last week or week before. And for those who are watching and don't know, Mission Christmas is part of um, an initiative from Cash for Kids, which is the Bauer Media Northern Ireland uh, official charity. So, Terry, you were at the Mission Christmas Warehouse where we're trying to deliver... Um, yeah, literally thousands of presents for, for children yeah. who may not receive one this Christmas. So you were down there. So tell us the story of how you got involved with Mission Christmas and what, what are the benefits well, to you and your staff? Yeah, well, our, our initial involvement came a few years ago whenever we supported Cash for Kids through our One Week in June campaign. And from that, we learned more about Mission Christmas. And a group of us started to volunteer um, in the warehouse and always found it an incredibly humbling experience, David, um, to take part in that. I think then as part of our purpose through 2020, we really wanted to build partnerships with organizations that covered a number of strands. And those strands were be where we potentially provided some financial support, where the societal need covered all of Northern Ireland, where we've got branches across 44 um, towns and cities within Northern Ireland, that we could understand what the issue was. So in terms of Mission Christmas, why did Mission Christmas exist in the first place? And how did we alleviate some of the areas regarding that? And fourthly, where our staff could volunteer. So as you know, I bumped into yourself last week and myself and a group of people were up, a group of colleagues, sorry, were up helping out. I just find it incredibly humbling um, to see the work that goes on behind the scenes to ensure that all kids within Northern Ireland and families have a really good Christmas. So it very much ties in with their overall purpose about helping communities and helping people where we can to thrive as much as they possibly can. And, you know, for, for business owners who are watching uh, this, what, what do you think the benefits are to, to staff and, and to the brand of Ulster Bank by being involved in a project like this from a business perspective? I, I, think, they're, I think they're huge, David, so they are. So if, if I go through the various ways that I think that it benefits our business and everyone talks about corporate social responsibility and sometimes it's easy to say and harder to do with a meaningful impact. So I certainly know that our colleagues really support Mission Christmas across all the branches. And I know you showed a picture there of Carrick Fergus, and it was fantastic to see the number of toys. But colleagues get really engaged in that because they can see the business doing good. So, you know, they have a, a more favorable outlook on their employer because they see that as a societal need. From a customer point of view, I think that customers look at it and see the brand associated with another strong brand in Mission Christmas. And again, I think from a customer point of view, once they understand what Mission Christmas is all about, they think that's a good thing for our brand to be linked into. And I think more and more, David, in business that businesses want to work with other businesses that have got similar sort of ethos and purpose-led agendas. And I can clearly see that, that the, the 
work that we do with Mission Christmas serves a number of purposes. So it's good for society. It's good for our colleagues when our internal surveys, colleagues who are involved in doing volunteering with organizations such as Mission Christmas have a much higher engagement within the business. We want to create more opportunities with that. And again, whenever it comes to doing business with other businesses, I think they like to see us playing a part in the communities in which we serve. And as I say, we're more than just a bank. We're actually adding value across society and to the wider business network. Yeah, great, great insight, Terry. Thanks, and thank you and your staff for all the help that you've given Mission Christmas this year. We we really do appreciate it. I understand that you're also involved with uh, another charity, the the Trussell Trust. For those who don't know, what what is the Trussell Trust, and how are you helping? Uh, the Trussell Trust are, um, are an organisation that support 22 food banks across Northern Ireland. And again, going back to our purpose, whenever we set out to go and look for partnerships where we could add real value, the Trussell Trust have obviously got a need as well, where they're supporting thousands of families that have been impacted in 2020 more so than any other year by things like unemployment, reduction in income with all the impacts that COVID had. So again, for us, whenever we look at the Trussell Trust, there's a number of elements to that. So we can understand, first of all, how does food poverty arise? What puts people in a position where poverty affects them? And with a business with over 500,000 customers, we are always going to have some customers to go through tough days and hard times. And we want to understand what causes those type of problems in the first place so that whenever we're talking to other stakeholders if we can influence change to help alleviate that poverty that would be really important i also think it's really important for us as a bank that if we can spot customers in vulnerable positions that we can help those customers and sometimes to have an unbanked like conversation to be able to signpost customers to organizations like trussell trust might just be what they need to help them out of some of those darker days so as I say, in all of the partnerships that we try to have at the minute, David, we want it to be deeper than just potentially providing financial support. We want to understand the issues, become a driver for change in those issues, and to make sure that our colleagues understand the part that they can play within that. Because as I said, it really helps with colleague engagement. And I think it's exactly what our customers want us to do. They expect more of us than just being a bank. They expect us to play our part in these big societal challenges within Northern Ireland. And I suppose um, you know consumers are seeing more and more, um, well, even in the banking sector, more and more things going online and becoming automated. So the opportunity to show the human face of um, of Ulster Bank, I, I suppose, is just uh, is too good to miss, really, isn't it? Yeah, uh, for for certainly, David. And if if you stretch that even further in terms of our five hundred thousand customers, primarily banks haven't changed in two hundred years in terms of they've got a range of products and services that we have that customers sometimes need in terms of borrowing money or um, keeping their savings with us, etc. But how they bank with us materially has changed. So they've got a lot more choice than they ever had before. And what we want to make sure is that whenever they're making those choices regarding who to save with or borrow with, that more and more the customers are looking for a brand that also ties in with their view of the world and businesses that are doing the right thing by climate, businesses that are supporting enterprise within the local community, businesses that are supporting learning through schools, through universities and on, ongoing learning. So that's very much where we want our brand to be associated with. And I'm, I'm delighted to say that the reaction from customers in terms of the given that they have brought into our branches to support Mission Christmas has been absolutely phenomenal. And I'll just share one, one personal story with you, David, that I heard the other day. A colleague that works in the contact centre, Natalia, it was sharing a story about how she got involved in both Trussell Trust and Mission Christmas um, through, through her own community. And over the last two weeks, she has gathered in over a thousand items to support Mission Christmas and the Trussell Trust. I think that's just phenomenal. I mean, whenever I look back in 2020, that story will certainly always stay with me about how one individual made such a huge difference. So, um, yeah, just del delighted to be involved in Mission Christmas again this year, David. Well, I don't think we're going to top that, Terry. I think that's a great personal story to to finish up on. And, uh, you know, on behalf of all of us here, thank you to you, your staff and your customers for being so generous. And thank you to all of our guests over the last nine months on Business Bites. We've found out some fantastic pieces of information and insight. So, Terry, it just leaves me to wish you and your team a very happy Christmas and uh, wishing you and the gang at Ulster Bank a great 2021 as well. Thanks for being our guest today. Brilliant, and, and thanks, David, for the opportunity again. Really enjoyed it. And I'll see you again on Saturday.